Hey there, welcome to my mid-month market update. This is June 2021 and I'm JR St. Julian with Keller Williams Realty. It's the summertime, baby. We got blue skies, warm air, cool water, and California is opening back up. So it's a great time to be in the world, great time to be in Southern California, great time to be in San Diego. The birds agree with me, they're chirping away. And let's talk a little bit about real estate. Okay, the stats we've been seeing all year are essentially continuing and they're just kind of getting bigger every single month that passes. The number of homes we're closing have increased by 71.2%. That being said, inventory is still down 54.7%. It's kind of crazy. And of course, you've seen it. I'm sure if you've been following the market whatsoever, you've noticed it. Home prices, they're up drastically. Year over year, we're looking at 28.4% appreciation. That's incredible. And that's San Diego County, every, every zip code in the county. So of course there's gonna be zip codes that have done way better than that. But that's some good news if you're a homeowner right now. That's some fantastic news if you're a homeowner right now. And if you're not a homeowner, I have some more news for you that should encourage you to get into the market because really this is where you build your personal net worth. Real estate is the number one method that people use in this country to grow their personal wealth. And that's why I love the business and that's why I'm here talking to you today. The stats really haven't made a dramatic shift since last month or the month prior. I mean, the numbers just kind of keep increasing, increasing, increasing. That being said, what we're starting to see right now is a little bit different. So between January and May, the price appreciation was very, very aggressive. Now in June, home prices are at those new levels. So when folks are going out shopping, they're seeing those new prices. That has slowed the appreciation a little bit and it has also slowed down the competition a little bit. So it has slightly, slightly, slightly reduced demand. It doesn't mean that there's not a lot of competition, doesn't mean that there's not a lot of demand, but there's just enough reduction to where now you can breathe a little bit if you're shopping for a home. You still have to fight the fight. You still have to be very aggressive. You still have to have a clear strategy, but you definitely will be able to find a home that works for you. Inventory level. So let's talk a little bit about that. Year over year, they're down 54.7%. But that being said, this month, we have some additional news to report that is showing a change. So while the inventory levels are down 54.7% and the months of inventory are pretty much across the board, less than one month of inventory, no matter where you're looking in San Diego County, the number of homes that are coming on market are on par with what we saw last year. So in the detached home space, we're down just a little bit, just under 2%, not bad at all. In the attached home space, condos and townhomes, we're up 1%. Fantastic. So this is the first time in 2021 that we're actually seeing new listings being in line with what we saw last year. So now what does that mean? That means basically people are back to it. California is opening up. People that want to sell their home, they're now selling their home. They're not being held back by the fear of COVID. And if you're shopping for a home, that means you have much more to pick from. Much, much more to pick from. Now the inventory levels are still down 54.7% because of the demand. The demand is pent up, the demand is aggressive. So like I said, the market's still on fire, but instead of maybe 20, 25, 30 offers on a particular home, now you may see 10, five, three numbers that we can more easily work with and we can help you be competitive in that space. It's very, very difficult to be competitive when you're competing against 30 other folks. It's much easier to be competitive when you're only competing against 10. Doesn't mean it's not competitive, but it's definitely a much better space to be operating in if you're looking to buy a home. Now, that being said, if you're thinking about selling a home, it's still a great time to sell. We're in the, the all time most aggressive seller's market we've ever seen in San Diego, California. And as a result of a few things that I'm about to talk about, we don't necessarily expect that to, to drastically change, but I do expect the pace of things to slow down a little bit. And that's what we're starting to see right now. 
Now, everyone keeps asking, when is the market crash going to happen? And I keep telling them, I don't see any signs of market crash happening whatsoever. Now, Google is telling us people searching for the housing crash, the market crash, etc., is at a record high right now. So I know a lot of you have that question and you wanna know, hey, what's gonna happen with the market? So let's dig into some of the reasons why I don't foresee a crash coming anytime soon. And I'm not alone. We are still at record low inventory levels. We're in a pure supply and demand market right now. And those record low inventory levels are literally all time lows. If you look at this chart, you can see just prior to the last great recession, we were at record high inventory levels. We're in the exact opposite position right now. Additionally, we don't have all of the financial issues that we had at that time. The regulations that were put in place have worked. And if you've gone through a home mortgage application recently, you know it's a financial colonoscopy. That's why the regulation works. So they're making sure that everyone is, that is qualifying for a home can actually afford to buy that home. We have been in a continuous state of low inventory since we've recovered from the Great Recession. And now that has just been amplified by COVID. So when you combine the fact that despite the level of appreciation that we've seen, homes are still affordable, interest rates are still very low, and inventory is still very low, and there's no financial crisis around the corner, there is no indicators to say that the market is going to take a drastic change or crash. Now, that being said, I do believe this level of uh, appreciation is not sustainable, and I do believe it will slow down. Mortgage rates are on the rise, and they have been slowly creeping up since January of this year. Now, that being said, for the most part, they've been hovering right around 3% for the last couple months, so we're not talking about a drastic move, but we do expect them to increase as we approach the end of the year. Now, the wild card that we're seeing right now is inflation because between February and May, inflation rose dramatically where we finished May sitting with an inflation rate of 4.99%. That's the highest we've seen in a very, very long time. And we're not quite sure how the government's gonna respond to that or what they're gonna do, uh, whether they think it's transient or permanent, et cetera. That's all still up in the air. So we're still trying to figure all of that out. But what that does mean to homeowners and folks that are shopping for homes. Number one, if you're locking in that great low interest rate and we're seeing a lot of inflation, the value of your dollar goes down, the higher the level of inflation it is. That means you lock in that lovely 3%, you have a fixed payment for the life of that home. Every year that passes, especially if inflation is high, the cost out of your pocket, the actual physical cost of your home is going down because the value of the dollar is going down. The other side of that is, is that the value of your home is gonna go up due to inflation. And that is why real estate is one of the best ways to grow your personal net worth in this country. It's an inflation hedge. Right now we have tremendously low interest rates that you can lock in for, over, for a 30 year period. You need it to live, you need a place to live, and the value always goes up. As long as you got it for a long-term home, it always goes up. Not to mention all the tax implications and all the other benefits that you get as a result of being a homeowner. So if you're a homeowner now, which I think most of you are because that's who I'm sending my videos to, you're sitting on a lot of equity, you're in a very good place. Now, if you're thinking about selling that home, please definitely reach out to me. I would love to chat with you about that. I would love to give you a current valuation of your home and talk about what we can do to help put the maximum amount of money in your pocket. And if you're thinking about buying a home, if you have any friends, relatives, family, et cetera, that are thinking about buying a home, I would love to chat with them as well. Put me in touch. We can talk in more detail about the market, the specific areas that they're interested in, and why I think this is a great time to either buy or sell. I mean, this is like one of those crazy markets where it's a good time to do both. So if you have any real estate needs whatsoever, please hit me up. All of my contact information will follow this video. Thank you for watching. I'll talk to you again next month. Take care.